हॅलो चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू माय क्लास आम जवाश्री घोष टीचर इन डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन मल्टीपर्पज स्कूल भुवनेश्वर आय एम रिअली हॅपी टू हॅव यू ऑल विथ मी अँड आय एम शुअर यू ऑल्सो वेटिंग फॉर माय क्लास टू विथ युअर एन सी आर टी बुक्स नोटबुक्स अँड पेन्स टुडे यू नीड इट रिअली चिल्ड्रन वी आर टू बिकॉज इन दिस पार्ट we will be discussing very important concepts and that too we are going to solve certain numericals so children the let's start our class okay today we will be discussing molecular mass avogadro number and mole concept let me tell you children these are the most important part of like uh, studying about atoms and molecules and even if you are studying science in your future also you will need these forever okay so listen to it minutely and be attentive in the class with your notebooks and pen okay children but before moving to those concepts you know what i do just brush up what we had done in our last class what is that recapitulation part yes we had learnt about molecules you remember children what are molecules i know you remember but let me remind you a bit it is the smallest particle of an at- element or a compound which is capable of independent existence i told you about that it can exist independently and some are there which cannot exist independently okay like some inert gases they are noble gases though don't hold hands of others but there are some other gases like oxygen nitrogen chlorine they cannot stay alone they need somebody like they can need their own brothers and sisters like with chlorine oxygen they can form molecules or they also take the help of their neighbors sometimes chlorine with hydrogen sometimes carbon with uh, oxygen to become molecules and be stable and independent okay so uh, these molecules show independent existence and shows all the properties of that elements or the compound okay children then we had learnt about atomicity what is that yes you remember i know the number of atoms present in a molecule of an element or a compound is known as its atomicity ions same during electrolysis positive and negative yes the molecules of the compounds composed of metals and non metals contain charged particles called ions they are cations and anions valency the most important concept the combining power of an element it can be used to find out how the atoms of an element will combine with the atoms of another element to form compounds and children we have also learned using these valencies how elements bond form bonds with each other today we'll start with molecular mass now you have known what molecules are then we are studying molecular mass before that you have studied atomic mass and i have warned you several times you have to remember those atomic masses at least for the first 20 elements and i know you remember it now in all the classes we have discussed about that so i am sure you remember it now molecular mass of an element is defined as the sum of the masses of the elements present in the molecule and it is the sum different different elements are present so we have to add up the masses of all the elements molecular mass is obtained by multiplying the atomic mass of an element with the number of atoms in the molecule and then adding the masses of all the elements in the molecule when we go for the example children you will understand it very clearly don't worry the formula unit mass 
of a substance is the sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms in a formula unit of compound. It is formula unit is nothing very great thing. It is just similar to finding the molecular mass of a compound. But the main thing is that uh, when we find the molecular masses of the uh, ionic compounds, we say it is the formula unit mass, nothing more. So, do not be scared. We use the word formula unit for those substances whose constituent particles are ions. Okay. For example, molecular mass of H2, hydrogen gas. Okay. H2 means atomic atomicity is 2. One atom of hydrogen, atomic mass of one atom of hydrogen is 1 unified mass or 1 U. Here two atoms of hydrogen are there. So, 2 into 1 U is equal to 2 U. What about oxygen? One atom of oxygen atomic mass is 16 U. Here we have two atoms of oxygen. All of you use your notebooks and pens. I am repeatedly telling you children so that you can solve it yourself also. Just see the uh, examples on the screen and you start doing it on your notebook. O2, 2 into 16 U is 32 U. What about CO2, carbon, atomic mass unit, uh, sorry, atomic mass is 12 U. You have one atom of carbon, so 1 into 12 plus how many oxygen atoms? You have two oxygen atoms. For one oxygen atom 16 U, for two oxygen atom 32 U, when you add them, it comes out to be 44 U. Okay, children, this is the molecular masses of several compounds or molecules. Now, formula mass unit, how is it different? As I have told you, just ionic compounds. These are the ionic compounds, NaCl, okay, sodium. What is the atomic mass of sodium? 23 U. What is the atomic mass of chlorine? It is 35.5 U. Okay. So, combinedly we have 58.5 U NaCl. Al2SO4 whole thrice. Aluminium sulfate. Aluminium, what is the atomic mass? 27 U. How many atoms of aluminium are there? Al2 means 2 atoms. 2 into 27 U. Then, we are adding, see here children, SO4 bracketed whole thrice means S has got 3 atoms and O has got how many atoms? 4 into 3 that is 12 atoms. I had discussed that in the earlier class. So, in this 2 into 27 for aluminium, 3 into 32 for sulphur and 12 into 16 U for oxygen. When all this we add it up, we get 342 U. You solve it in your notebook and you will find the same answer. Children, try it on your notebooks. Then comes calcium chloride. Calcium atomic mass is 40 U. One atom of calcium is 1 into 40 plus chlorine, you know, 35.5 for one atom of chlorine. But here you have two atoms of chlorine, Cl2. So, 2 into 35.2, it comes out to be 70. 70 plus 40, it is 1, 1, 1, U. Children, this is on your screen. If you want it, we can have it for a few seconds more. Just have a keen look at it and listen to it might listen to me minutely and you can understand. This is a very easy concept. Once that concept gets into your mind, children, you would never forget. Okay. So, can I move forward? Yes. Let's move forward. Now, one more concept is there, mole and avogadro number. Mole concept. Okay. What is this mole? M-O-L-E. What is this mole? The mole is the unit of measurement for amount of substances in the international system of units that are SI unit. You have heard about SI unit? Yes. In SI, international system of units, moles, it has been uh, suggested 
to be the unit of measurement for amount of substances okay from where they got this word mole the word mole is derived from the latin word moles means heap or pile pura like a piles of thing hill of uh, something that is because it's a very large number you will come to know it's a very large number children let me tell you about moles suppose uh, you are going to a shop and you are asking for give me one dozen bananas okay so how many bananas you ask for you are asking for 12 number of bananas is not it dozen the word dozen signifies 12 number is not it's a number suppose uh somebody goes to the market he has got a like wholesale sort of uh, thing he is going to sell lots of things he is asking for one gross of eggs gross means 12 dozen means 12 into 12 144 numbers that person is asking for 144 numbers of eggs he has got a shop and he wants to sell them off okay so this word dozen this word gross what does it mean these are simply counts or the numbers similarly the word mole is just a count for the number of particles and how many numbers let's see the mole symbol m o l is the si unit of amount of substance one mole contains only i am saying only 6.0221476 into 10 to the power 23 elementary entities you can imagine how many numbers big number it's a very very big number but children this number 6.0221476 into 10 to the power 23 is known as a vogedro number it's a large huge number and it's named after the italian scientist emidio avogedro let's see who this emidio avogedro was children in all my classes i give a bit introduction about the scientist this is to enhance your general knowledge I, and one more thing what i feel you will be inspired by their work and sometimes in future we may see some of you have become much bigger scientists than these people okay so all the best children lorenzo romano amidio carlo avogetto born on 19 9th august 1776 and he lived up to 9th july 1856 count of querengna and cereto was an italian scientist he was a count and italian scientist he was a noble person most noted for his contribution to the molecular theory now known as avogadro's law in tribute to him the number of elementary entities means number of particles like atoms molecules ions all other particles in one mole of a substance that is 6.0221476 into 10 to the power 23 is known as the avogadro constant one of the seven si base units and represented by capital n with a subscript a okay this uh, figure 6.0221476 to the power 23 children uh, we just have uh, rounded it up and generally we use 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 as the avogadro's number okay 22 so, sorry now mole is a numerical quantity as i have told you like one dozen one gross mole is also a numerical quantity that has a mass equal to the atomic or the molecular mass of the species what which species it may be atoms it may be molecules it may be ions or it may be the particles here also you have to remember the atomic masses and the molecular masses 
वन मोल ऑफ एनी सब्सटेंस एनी सब्सटेंस इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू टू इन टू टेन टू दी पावर ट्वेंटी थ्री नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स डोंट फॉरगेट इट मे बी नंबर ऑफ एटम्स इट मे बी नंबर ऑफ आयंस और इट मे बी द नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स ग्राम एटॉमिक मास ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस फॉर दिस यू हैव टू नो द एटॉमिक मास वेन यू आर फाइंडिंग द एटॉमिक मास यू नो द एटॉमिक मास यू कैन फाइंड दिस ग्राम एटॉमिक मास ऑल्सो एंड टू फाइंड द ग्राम एटॉमिक मास यू हैव टू नो द एटॉमिक मास ऑफ ऑल द एलिमेंट्स द एटॉमिक मास ऑफ अ सब्सटैंस वेन एक्सप्रेस इन ग्राम्स इज नोन एज इज ग्राम एटॉमिक मास हाउ डू वी एक्सप्रेस द एटॉमिक मास You remember, children, what we had discussed? Yes, first we had done it by a mu. Then we call it u, that is the unified mass. Those just unified mass when written in grams, it becomes the gram atomic mass. Okay. Now, gram molecular mass. You can find the molecular mass in u. When that is converted to grams, it becomes the gram atomic mass of a substance. the molecular mass of a substance when expressed in grams is known as its gram molecular mass see here children it's very easy gram mass of a of an entity is known as molar mass okay gram mass of an element or it may be of a compound we call it molar mass see here in the example what you see first we have the categories of uh, elements carbon hydrogen oxygen sodium and chlorine then we have the average atomic mass why the word average is written because for carbon it is not exactly 12 it is 12.0005 or something is that and for h 1.008 some decimals are there which can be neglected so for element carbon average atomic mass is 12 u but when this 12 uh, molar mass becomes 12 grams per mole okay molar mass becomes if carbon has got average atomic mass as 12 its molar mass becomes 12 grams one mole of carbon means one mole of carbon means 12 grams of carbon it contains how many atoms 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of atoms similarly hydrogen atomic mass is 1 u molar mass is 1 gram per mole and 1 mole of hydrogen contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of hydrogen atoms don't forget similarly 16 grams of oxygen contains 6.022 to 10 to the power 23 number of oxygen atoms that is 1 mole of oxygen sodium 1 mole of sodium has got how many atoms it is 6.022 in 10 to the power 23 similarly 1 mole of chlorine has got how many atoms 6.022 in 10 to the power 23 number of atoms and what is the molar mass 35.5 that is 35.5 grams of chlorine contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of chlorine atoms um clear children just keep in mind the molar mass of an element one is one mole okay one mole of that amount of element contains avogadro's number of particles that is atoms okay children let's go for an example and see one mole of carbon atoms as i have told you it contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 numbers of carbon atoms what is the weight of one mole of carbon atom that is 12 grams of carbon atom so how do we say one mole of carbon atom means 12 grams of carbon atom which contain how many 
carbon atoms in that 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of carbon atoms are present in 1 mole of carbon atom okay or 12 grams of carbon atom. Similarly, when we consider 1 mole of sodium chloride molecule NaCl molecule it contains 6.022 n to 10 to the power 23 number of sodium chloride molecules or 58.5 grams of sodium chloride molecules. So this is gram atomic uh, mass and Avogadro's number of particles okay in one mole of that substance. Children, when we will be dealing with certain numericals in this chapter, you are supposed to remember these formulas. It will be better for you for solving the numericals. Please note it down children. Suppose uh, n, small n is the number of moles, small m the given mass, capital M the molar mass, capital N the number of particles which is given number of particles and N A you know it is Vogedro's number that is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. Now what are the formulas to be used? When you are supposed to find the number of moles when mass of certain uh, element or compound is given that is N is equal to num uh, given mass by molar mass. Okay. Those are formulas which are written in red, please note it down. Number of moles, number of particles divided by Avogadro's number. This is one more formula for finding the number of moles. Suppose you are supposed to find out the mass. Mass is equal to molar mass into number of moles that is small m is equal to capital M into capital N. If you are supposed to find out the number of particles, how would you find out? You will have to find out first the given mass per molar mass. What is that number of moles into Avogadro's number? Other way of finding out particles, number of moles, you know that same number of moles into Avogadro's number. Okay. Children, please note these uh, formulas and you use it in the numericals which we will be doing. Now, now we start with the numericals. Okay. First question is compare 1 mole of hydrogen, 1 mole of oxygen and 1 mole of fluorine. Which has the highest number of molecules? Explain why. What do you feel children? Which has the highest number of molecules? How many molecules are there in 1 mole of hydrogen? Yes, it is 6.022 in 10 to the power 23. What about 1 mole of oxygen? Same. What about 1 mole of fluorine? Same. So, which has the highest number of molecules? All these have same number of molecules because 1 mole contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 numbers of those entities. Okay. I had told you it is a number. It is same in all one mole of anything, one mole of ABCD, one mole of this uh, whatever water, one mole of oxygen, one mole of uh, carbon, they will contain same number of particles. One mole of atom means same number, six Avogadro's number of atoms. One mole of one molecule means Avogadro's number of molecules is present in that. One mole of iron means Avogadro's number of uh, ions are present in that. You get my point children? Which has the greatest mass? Explain why. The element which has got the more, means atomic uh, mass is more that will, that will have the greatest mass. Which has got the atomic mass more? Of course, it is fluorine. Hydrogen 1, oxygen 16 and fluorine is 19. Okay. So, fluorine has got the greatest mass. Calculate the molar mass of each of the following compounds. You have to learn this children. See here, molar mass. It is very easy. Once you see, uh, start doing, uh, keep your pens and notebooks ready. You start doing along with me. Hydrogen fluoride, HF. What is the molecular mass? Hydrogen for hydrogen, 1U. 
one one atom of hydrogen means one into one fluorine one atom 19 that is the atomic mass of fluorine is 19 19 into 1 it will give 20 molecular mass is 20 u but molar mass it is 20 u means it will become 20 g simply i have told you just replace it by molar mass when you are finding you replace the molecular mass just by g it becomes 20 g similarly case of ammonia nitrogen 14 into 1 hydrogen 3 into 1 17 it becomes 17 grams nitric acid h n and o three uh, uh, types of elements are there hydrogen 1 into 1 nitrogen 14 into 1 but in oxygen o3 means three atoms of oxygen atomic uh, weight mass is 3 so 16 3 is a 48 and when we add up we get 63 similarly silver sulfate ag2 so4 two atoms are silver atomic mass of silver is 180 two atoms means 108 into 2 sulfur 1 32 into 1 o4 4 into 16 and it comes out to be 312 grams you also do it on your notebook so that you can compare this uh, value similarly boric acid s3bo3 1 into 3 for boron atomic mass is 10.8 10.8 into 1 and for oxygen similarly 16 into 3 that is 61.8 grams is there on the screen for two seconds children so i think you have noted it down Next question, calculate the number of moles of the following number of moles. How would you find the number of moles? You remember the formula is the given mass by the molar mass. Given mass 52 grams of helium. Given mass is 52. Helium, molar ma molecular mass of helium is 4 units. So, molar mass becomes 4 grams. So, what is the number of moles? 13. 52 grams of helium means it is 13, gram, uh, 13 moles. Then one more type, the other formula we are supposed to use. We are supposed to find moles of 12.044 into 10 to the power 23 number of helium atoms. Here particles are given, number of moles is equal to given particles divided by Avogadro's number. What do we get? It is 2. So number of moles is 2 for these part of he, uh, particles of helium atoms. Simply we are substituting the numbers in the formula. One more, calculate the mass of the following. What is the given? 0.5 moles of nitrogen gas, N2 gas. Here moles is given, okay. You have to determine the mass. Mass is equal to molar mass into number of moles. What is the molar mass of N2? N is 14, N2 is 28. Okay. Atomic mass of nitrogen is 14. You remember? Two atoms of nitrogen N2 means 28 into 0 0.5. You have 14 grams. Mass is 14 grams. So, children, when you are supposed to find the mass of 3.011 in 10 to the power 23, nitrogen atoms what you have to do the molecular or the atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 into given number of particles divided by the Avogadro's number we have 14 into 0.5 and that comes out to be 7 you can also do its very easy calculation 3.011 is just the half of 6.022 okay children let's proceed to the next numerical you have lots of numericals in this chapter it's simple if you understand the concept or you remember the formulas you can very easily do this children uh, don't get frightened you can do it calculate the number of particles in each of the following number of particles i'm talking about the number of it may be atoms it may be molecules or whatever is asked 46 grams of sodium atom okay now number of particles if we go by the formula what is that formula we had discussed given mass divided by the molar mass then into Avogadro's number what is the given mass 46 grams of sodium 46 what is the molar mass of sodium Na atomic mass is 23 and molar mass is 23 grams 
and into the Avogadro's number. And it comes up to be 2 into 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. Just as an easy calculation, 12.044 into 10 to the power 23. Okay, children, the screen is uh, there for you for a few seconds. You can note it down. Then comes 8 grams of O2 molecule, oxygen molecule. 8 grams of molecules. Same thing. Given mass by molar mass into Avogadro's number. What is the given mass? 8. What is the molar mass of O2? 16 is the atomic mass of oxygen. Okay, molar mass of oxygen, 16 grams. Two atoms of oxygen are there, so it becomes 32 grams. 8 by 32, it comes out to be 1 by 4 into 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 and it becomes 1.5055 into 10 to the power 23. Okay. Now, the third part is 0.1 moles of carbon atom. 0.1 mole of carbon atom. Number of particles, 1 mole of carbon atom has 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. Okay, 0 0.1 mole means unitary just into 0 0.1 it becomes 6.022 into 10 to the power 22. Okay. Now children, we have practiced certain numericals and I hope uh, you have understood and by doing this assignment also you will have full idea on these numericals. Now children, please take down these assignment. Find ratio by mass of the following combining elements in the following compounds of calcium carbonate. You have to find the ratio by mass as we had done earlier. Then magnesium chloride. Okay. Question number two. Write the molecular formula for the following compounds. You know how to write the molecular formula we have discussed? Calcium and fluorine nitrogen and hydrogen, sodium and oxygen. Okay. Question number three, which has more number of atoms? 100 grams of N2 or 100 grams of NS3? Question number four, verify by calculating that 240 grams of calcium and 240 grams of magnesium elements have a mole ratio 3 is to 5. Just calculate their uh, atomic masses or you can say the gram mass and then find the ratio. Question number 5. Calculate the number of molecules of sulfur present in 16 grams of solid sulfur. Okay. S8 is the molecule of sulfur. Children, that's all for today. Have a nice time at home. Do this assignment. Be happy. Be safe. Take care of yourself and take care of the members of your family. Thank you. Have a nice time.